So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the three stories I wanted to cover in this video includes an update on Project Awakening, the open world action RPG PS4 console exclusive people have been wondering about for years now, God of War Ragnarok gets a possible gameplay hint from an artist at Sony Santa Monica and Media Molecule, the people behind Dreams are seemingly working on a new MMO title for the PlayStation 5. First, yes or no, is God of War Ragnarok your most anticipated title at this point? I know most will probably say yes, but I know there are others who are actually more excited for something like Horizon 2 Forbidden West or something else like Gran Turismo 7. So comment below, yes or no, is God of War Ragnarok your most anticipated title right now or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, Media Molecule's new title. Reading from segment next, first party PlayStation developer Media Molecule may potentially be working on a new multiplayer game for the PlayStation 5. According to its official careers page from earlier today, Media, Mo Media Molecule has been seeking a senior producer for a couple of months now to further push the creative boundaries of gaming. The listing further states that interested candidates should have necessary experience in AAA, live service, massively multiplayer online games, as well as a great sense of humor. The developer currently has nearly two dozen job listings, but the aforementioned position of a senior producer is the only one without any tags for dreams. So, I personally looked through the job listings myself available on the site and there are only two jobs actually that I found that don't have the tags for dreams in including that uh, the, the senior producer position that we just talked about as well as a position for a data scientist. So when they don't have the tag for dreams it seems to indicate that they're not related, they're not dreams related positions but in terms of the data scientist position while it doesn't have a tag for dreams it does mention dreams in the intro of the job listing so we can rule that one out in terms of the new game MMO live service AAA, a sense of humor I'm still wondering if this is in fact a new title because dreams is kind of a live service itself but I don't know if I would call it an MMO or I don't know if I would call it triple A. I'm not really sure. Triple A, especially that description is up to people to decide. But MMO in itself is something else. I guess we'll see. Sony first party studios have been pushing to create larger teams to build multiple games at once. So the people over at Media Molecule could have two teams, maybe one working on Dreams and another team could be working on a new possible game. Now, diving into the second story of the video, Project Awakening, the game I know many of you have been waiting for but thought was dead. So Project Awakening was a... Uh, a game announced in 2018 for the PlayStation 4 slash PC, and at this point, it's probably being developed for the PlayStation 5 as well. Producer Kenichiro Takaki described the game as an open-world uh, game containing some RPG elements with a focus on combat, including co-op multiplayer aspects. The game has a traditional high fantasy setting. Apparently, the game was also intended by Psy Games, the developer of the, the game itself, as an attempt to break into the Western console market. There isn't really much beyond that in terms of details on the game and it's been a long while since we've heard anything about it, leaving many to think it's possibly cancelled. But recently, website Gematsu tweeted about the game saying, For anyone wondering what's up with Project Awakening, it's still in development. Psy Games posted its September 2nd, 2020 Solistic Game Engine presentation from CEDEC 2020 on October 8th, 2020, which mentions Project Awakening. Gamatsu referenced this image in the tweet that stated, At Psy Games, we are currently recruiting staff to work with us on developing the Solistic Game Engine, as well as to create Project Awakening, the first game built on the Solistic Game Engine. So, there you have it. The game is still in the works, and honestly, it would be pretty big if we saw it this summer. 
uh, with a release date and an actual name but you guys let me know if project awakening interests you or not let me know down in the comments below now diving into the final story of the video god of war ragnarok's first possible gameplay detail reading from dual shockers god of war 2018 needs no introduction it's touching and captivating narrative has been played and loved by millions of gamers across the globe telling the story of the turbulent yet loving bond between uh, father and son god of war has been one of playstation's finest releases to date even though sony santa monica have so far remained tight-lipped on what the sequel could include a developer from the team has hinted at the possibility of players playing through the eyes of atreus kratos's son concept artist at sony santa monica samuel matthews spoke recently on the god of war podcast and indicated the potential chance that players could take the reins in some capacity of atreus much like Ellie in The Last of Us Part 2. In the short video on Instagram, Matthews discussed how The Last of Us had a big impact on God of War 2018, which we all can tell, really. He also said that Sony Santa Monica is looking to The Last of Us 2 for more inspiration when it comes to Ragnarok. So, I'll have the video linked below. I watched it, and he kind of hints at the potential branching paths you can have if you play as Atreus in contrast with Kratos, which I get, but there is a big difference between Last of Us and God of War. God of War 2018's gameplay mechanics actually involved using both Kratos and Atreus in battle compared to Last of Us 1, which had Ellie assist on her own. Atreus does assist on his own as well but you can also command him and pull off combos in battle which is a great mechanic now we all probably can tell that atreus will take the helm after kratos at some point and we could see him have his own gameplay sections in ragnarok but i personally wonder if it's going to be as fun to focus on shooting arrows versus the heavily melee focused battles with kratos they could give atreus more melee capability but i wonder even then if separating the two would lose some of the the gameplay great gameplay magic of 2018's god of war where you were commanding both of them in battle all the time i trust Corey and his team over at sony santa monica of course so i'm excited to see if this does in fact happen and if it does how will it how well will it actually work but you guys let me know if you would like to play separate atreus focused missions or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps to subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with bring on the boy of war obviously this relates to atreus god of war ragnarok if you're excited to see what they do there and what they do in the sequel destroy the comment section with bring on the boy of war and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one.